Okay, so currently we are on our way to New Plymouth. So for those that don't know, we're living in New Zealand currently. We've been here for about 18 months now. The plan is for us to head back to Australia. So before we go, we wanted to do some sightseeing. Just want to go see some different places that we haven't seen just to tick them off the list and we thought we'd bring you guys along with us. So here we go. Okay, so we've done, we've stopped and had a check on the car, do the tyres, get some fuel, that typical stuff you do when you're in for a big drive. Because we've got, I believe, under 300 k's to go now until we get to New Plymouth. We'll probably stop on the way, get some lunch, although we don't know where we'll do that yet. So it's about, I guess we've got about four hours to go. We've been on the road for about roughly an hour now. So probably less than, than four hours, so it's a, it's a pretty big drive. But it's nice because I don't know how much you'll be able to see in the background, but it's all greenery. It's very green and nice out at the moment. The day started off, it was nice and sunny when we left, but it's gotten rainy, but not that that really matters for the drive. Um, hopefully we get some nice weather while we're away. We can get some nice shots. We're hoping to stop somewhere and get some drone footage of the awesome countryside so maybe that'll have to be later in the trip but um so yeah we'll probably check back when we've found out what we're doing for lunch so i'm liking the idea of the roll but I can't decide between the Joker or the Brat. Yeah, I think I want the Bratwurst roll. That's what I'm thinking. So this is the Bratwurst that I've got. Jess got the chicken burger. Looks pretty, looks pretty awesome. Uh, we, so we stopped for lunch in Palmerston North, which is where we currently are. Uh, we had lunch at a place called Joe's Garage, and it was a pretty cool place to stop. We've eaten there before, probably, I think it was in New Year's, around New Year's, yeah. so nearly a year ago, um, and we enjoyed it then. We had breakfast, so we thought we'd come back and try out their lunch or dinner menu, lunch menu, and it was pretty good, so... We're about to head from Palmerston North to New Plymouth. That'll be our last sort of trek for the day, and that's about three hours. So, better get driving. So we just pulled up here at the Grand Central Hotel in New Plymouth. Luckily the rain's gone, it's turned into quite a nice day. So we're going to go check in and we'll show you guys the room. So I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but anytime we're in a hotel room, can you take the key? We're always right at the very end. So this is the room. This is the first time we've seen it. So it's not big. We'll take you through. So this is the main entrance to the room. Our bathroom is off to the right. It's a decent sized spa bath. Not that we'll probably use that. The lighting's not super great in there, but that's okay. The bedroom, well, living area, the whole room. Decent sized bed, basically everything you need in here, a couple of chairs. It doesn't really have much of a kitchen area. They don't supply you with anything other than a few milks for your coffee, which we don't drink coffee. Yeah, so it's pretty cool being able to see the water from here. 
Um, so yeah, nothing super flash for the room, but it's exactly what we needed. We just wanted close proximity to be able to walk and get food and see our way around. As you can see from the shot, we're not too far from the water, so we'll be able to walk down to the water and get some nice shots down there. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty eventful drive here. Like I said, it was about three hours from when we got lunch. And we stopped in a little town at a dairy, which is a New Zealand name for what the Aussies would call a corner store or in America you'd call a convenience store. So we stopped there to get an ice cream and when we came out we saw this guy in the middle of the road with no shirt off. He was screaming at the top of his lungs and he stopped a car and he started bashing on the windshield and on the hood and we were just freaking out because we were like well is he going to turn around is he going to start smashing up our car because we were in our car. Yeah, so that was pretty interesting. I don't know how long that went on for, only a couple of minutes and then he wandered off, but it was a bit of excitement. So we, here we were thinking we we're going to get some nice scenic views and we see a crazy person bashing cars in the middle of the street. So Half naked. Half naked, yeah. Weird. A funny aside, we actually spoke to the, the dairy owner where we got the ice cream and he was actually familiar with the guy and said, ah, oh, he just got out of prison about a month ago. So, that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get situated now, get our stuff set up, and I don't know what we'll do. Maybe go for a walk, have a look around, and suss out what we're going to do for dinner. So we just got back from having dinner. It was really good. We went to a place called Miss, Mrs, Ms White's. Ms White's. Ms White's. You'll see pictures anyway, or video. It was a craft beer oven fired pizza place. It was in a unique location. It was like inside a building, but it was kind of like outside, but closed in. That probably sounds weird to explain it, but it was a really cool atmosphere. They had a few different restaurants in there and it just had a very casual vibe to it and we really enjoyed it. So the food was cool. I enjoy pizza, proper wood-fired pizza and we don't really get good pizza. We don't get terrible pizza, but we don't get great pizza where we are. But this was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I can't remember exactly what we had we had a margarita pizza and a pepperoni pizza with broccoli. Yep. Thank you. I got to try a few different beers. I'm not a massive drinker, but I do enjoy me some different beers and trying different beers. One of them was really weird. It was a sour ice cream beer, which sounds totally weird. And it was. It's like my brain couldn't compute what I was tasting because it was sour and tasted like ice cream. If you like beer, I would suggest if you ever get the chance, give it a try because it was so unique. I can't say I liked it. I didn't hate it. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel. It was weird. If you're ever in New Plymouth, I suggest giving Miss White's a try. I really had a good time. We've only been in New Plymouth for a few hours now, but we've had a good time so far. We walked down the waterfront Got a few shots, walked around the city just to see where we maybe wanted to eat. So far for day one, it's been eventful, it's been enjoyable. Tomorrow we kind of have a rough game plan, and we'll just see how it goes. But that's us for tonight. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.